So welcome to uh, Geology of Ohio, Sean. I'm here in Athens, my hometown. Have a look around, not too bad. Uh, we are here off of uh, State Route 50, off of uh, Stimson Avenue exit. I'm looking at some uh, interbedded limestone, sandstone shales. Uh, this is all Mississippian and Pennsylvanian in age. Uh, about 360 to 300 million years ago. I was out here earlier, found some uh, nice fossils of brachiopods. Unable to find anything today. Uh, had a rain last night, I figured I'd find some things. No can do. And I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, traffic sucks today. But uh, today we will be looking for some more. And hopefully I'll be able to explain a little bit better uh, what we see here. Uh, right below me I got some limestone. Uh, nothing really too spe special, spectacular. Uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania rocks really like stink as far as fossils go. Preservation. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to put this together with uh, everything I got over here. Um, off, uh, State Route 33, there's a nice little cut through. We can see some uh, exposure rocks. Hopefully I'll take you to see the Ames limestone, which is also down towards that way. That's uh, everywhere around Athens County, and uh, it's pretty much a marker bed for uh, the geology. So that's all I got for right now, and hopefully when I come back, I'll have some more for you. Bye. All right, here's one of those uh, instances of uh, terrible preservation. You can see it here on this rock, this brachiopod right there. Very poor preservation, but you can see the ridges. I have to find it. My camera focus here. There you go. Not too bad, a little class of a little bit of everything here. See some uh, cross sections. There. You can even see where I'm pointing. That's not too bad. I'm a fossil nut, so I like to share. So here I am taking you on Route 33 through a cross section of the Hocking River Valley. Uh, we are going from the east side to the west side and uh, on the way I'll give you a little bit of uh, background information. Um, Hawking River has its origins as a part of the Taze River system um, prior to glaciation about three million years ago. Um, the Pennsylvania and Mississippian rocks underlay Athens are sandstone, shales, and coals. Coals have been mined steadily since the early 1800s. Um, I'll give you a link to some information. Uh, but it wasn't until glaciation occurred that the Hawking River actually started to downcut and create the valley that we now see. Much of the outcrop that we view in Athens is primarily of sandstone. These sandstone deposits often create large outcrops or even small bluffs. Probably the most commonly noticed of these layers is the Connellsville sandstone of the Conemaugh group of the Upper Pennsylvanian, which can be readily seen from State Route 50 and State Route 32 on the east side of Athens. So as we pass through the Hawking River Valley, we come upon our last stop, the Ames Limestone. It's part of uh, several marine units within the Upper Pennsylvania Conema group, which represents the maximum transgression of the Pennsylvanian period. The rocks were deposited in a shallow, relatively quiet subtidal sea with very little clastic input. The limestone is divided into three parts. You have the Lower Ames Limestone, the Middle Ames Shale, and the Upper Ames uh, Limestone as well. Alright, so here we are off uh, Route 33, exit on to State Route 13. Not a fun little trip up the hill. Here we go. It's all about right there. Wish we could have seen it. Anyway, here we are. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of limestone right here. One on underneath the sandstone. Oh man. Got a lot of fine silty shale. Oh, nice and crumbly. Like I said before, it's a nice marker bed. All the way across Athens. A lot across uh, Southeast Ohio in general. I'll see if I can find some uh, pictures available in any of my texts. Give you a better idea how widespread this is. Yeah. Nice little area. And about the Pennsylvania. After, 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 after. 
this whole valley, um, that 